Hey guys, it's Lala and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title, this is a Dollar Tree haul. And I am super excited to share with you the things that I found. I want to start by saying if you're new to my channel, hi, hello. Thanks for hanging out with us for a little while. And I hope that you stay, subscribe, and become part of my friends and family here on YouTube. And if you're returning, welcome back. So um, a lot of you guys talked about my dog in the background last time. That was Axel. It looks like this time Billy is joining us. So that's my little Shih Tzu who's there and my big dog. He may or may not jump on the bed but he's on the ground right now. Also, let's talk about the hair. So I've had, today was a hair wash day. Um, I don't know why, I go to the hair salon tomorrow, but I just felt gross. And this is a Dollar Tree headband for my last haul, but you can tell I've had my hair up all day because it's got the crease. So don't pay any mind to that. Anyways, without further ado, let me show you what I found this time at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna start with two uh, repurchases for me. Um, you guys, if you've watched my hauls, you see that I haul these Supreme Healthy Max dog treats. And when he hears the bag and he has moved over in front of me, um, and they really love these. They don't make their stomachs upset. So I buy these all the time. And this is the salmon for skin and coat. They also have like chicken. Um, they also have them for hip and joint. So these are awesome dog treats. Another repurchase I buy all the time. I swear by these and it's the Good Sense Handles the vanilla scented garbage bags. Guys, I've been hauling these for years since I first started doing Dollar Tree hauls. I think I had seen someone else haul them. I decided to try them out and I've been using them ever since. You get 10 of them. Sometimes they have a bonus where you get like 13, but they're just tall kitchen bags. They are 13 gallon. They are heavy duty. Like they don't rip and we really shove things down in there. So, um, I swear by these, so give them a try. And if you try them out, let me know what you think. I was so excited to find this. And I believe this is part of the new Christmas collection at Dollar Tree. I did post pictures of the entire collection on Instagram. So if you're not following me there, it's in the description box below, but it's tis the season. And I just think it's so beautiful. And this is the Royal Norfolk brand. Um, and again, I don't know if this is the new collection, but I did see, I don't know if this is per se the new collection, but part of that, but I did post the new collection on Instagram. Um, it does say it's microwave and dishwasher safe, so that's always a plus, but it's just a small plate, and I thought this would be perfect. You can use it for decor. If you're having like a Christmas party, like we most likely will, to put some like cookies or like treats on, it's just beautiful. And the plates don't stop there and then of course i love the red truck so i had to get this one have yourself a merry little christmas and i know they had one last year but i don't believe this is the exact same one as last year if i remember correctly um so i don't know if it was last year or the year before now but either way i don't think it's the exact same one this is also by the royal norfolk brand and it is also microwave and dishwasher safe and I thought how cute to put some cookies on for Christmas time. And it's just so adorable and goes with my decor so well. Even right along with that red truck, I found this Dollar Tree gift bag. So beautiful. Now Dollar Tree has some amazing designs on their gift bags. However, I have had the issue where once you put a gift in, sometimes the handles come off. So um, definitely double check your handles before you get it. And then also what I'll do is put a little bit of tape on the inside right on these just to make sure it holds well when I have a gift in it or I try not to put really heavy gifts in the Dollar Tree gift bags. This side does, it does have a little bit of glitter up here and there is some fallout so you could spray a little bit of hairspray on it too if you care. And then this side is the same thing but there is no glitter. Okay, I just thought this was so adorable for my little small dog Billy and it's a pet scarf. O-M-G guys. I will try to get him to um, let me put this on him and I'll insert a picture for you guys if you want to see it but Oh my gosh, guys, when they get, he gets haircuts, so like they, they shave them really low. And so when it gets cold here in Florida, which is not very often and doesn't stay cold for very long, but he shivers. And I just thought this is going to be perfect. And if they had a bigger one for Axel, I would get it for him. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot that I got this. It matches that little plate and it's a coffee mug. Have yourself 
have yourself a merry little Christmas. And I just think it's so cute. Same as the plate. You can see the mug matches the plate. So if you had someone over and you wanted to, maybe you could get uh, two mugs and you had them have a tea or a cocoa, put you some cookies or something on the plate. I don't know, use it for decor, whatever you wanna use it for. This is so adorable and again, it's microwave and dishwasher safe as well, and it is still part of the Royal Norfolk um, Company. I buy these for Greg all the time. He absolutely loves them. So this is the, um, these are the little cold coffees that Dollar Tree has. This is in the flavor Peppermint Mocha. They did have this flavor last year, and Greg really liked it. Um, I got him one the other day, and it was called Maple Pecan, and he really loved that one. I haven't been able to find that one again, but the peppermint mocha, he says, are really good. He likes them all. So um, he loves cold coffee, so I love to pick up a couple whenever I see them. And the store that I was at had peppermint mocha, caramel, vanilla, um, a hazelnut. I don't remember. I want to say there was another one, but I can't think of what it was. But, of course, peppermint mocha as well. I have not been able to find tons of the hard candy makeup, but I'm always on the hunt and look for it. And I did finally find one of the items. This is by Hard Candy, and it's called Glitter Rotsy. And it's a liquid sparkler, if you can see that there. This is in the color Glitz. At this very moment, I don't know if this is for eyes or lips. It just says... Hard Candy Glitterazzi Liquid Sparkler. That's it. Looks like it could be a lip, a lip product. It also looks like maybe it could be um, for eyes, like a liquid eyeshadow. I don't know. Um, comment down below and let me know if you know. A lot of people were curious why Dollar Tree was getting Hard Candy makeup. And if you go to like Walmart or Walgreens or CVS and you see Hard Candy, they have repackaged a lot of their makeup. So a lot of companies will do that when they're repackaging their items. Stores like Dollar Tree get their closeouts and their sellouts of their old packaging items and then people like us get to get them for like super cheap. So we love that. But so I found that. Also something that's super cute and I used to get all of the Dollar Tree nails. Um, I go through spurts where I have my nails done with acrylic and then I get tired of them. But these are so cute and these are the Sassy and Chic. It says metallic fashion nails, and you can see they do have the metallic gold on them, and they are more of that almond shape. Um, they're, well, they're calling it stiletto shape. I guess it is kind of stiletto, yeah. Um, but I just thought these were super cute, and you get 12 of them. Luckily, that's plenty for me. They always fit my fingers just fine, um, and they don't come with glue, so if you've never bought these before, you will need to buy some glue. You can find glue at Dollar Tree as well. Um, and if they don't have like the nail glue, I just buy super glue and that stuff works the same. If you watched, I uh, not last haul, but the haul before that, I got the leopard print stylus with a ballpoint pen like combo. And I, it was so cute. It works well. I've actually, I use it all the time. And I saw this one and it's by the E circuit brand. And this is also a stylus pen. So here it is. It's navy blue and it's got little like rhine, little like diamond rhinestones on it. They had it in navy blue, purple, green. I want to say there's another color. But you can see this end is a ballpoint pen. It does say it's black ink. And then the top of it there has the stylus portion that you can use on your phone, your iPad, your tablets, or what have you. So I just thought this was so cute and so... I bought These it. next items are for my nieces. They're nine, eight, and two. And I only bought two of them because I don't know who's, the two-year-old probably isn't gonna wanna do this. And the nine and eight-year-olds, they may or may not, I don't know. But anyways, these are the Disney Emoji Sticker Tivity Funny Faces. I just thought they were really cute. So this is what it looks like here. And it says 16 pages of faces and two pages of stickers. So basically you have your pages like this that have like the blank faces on it and then you have two pages of <clears throat> of stickers and you can take these stickers and just like decorate the faces that are in your book so I thought that would be fun so I got this one here and then I also picked this one up it's also Disney same concept you have the um blank faces and then the blank faces and then you have your stickers there. So cute. I think I only have one item left, and I actually saw this a while back. 
I believe it was Thrifty Tiffany who I saw haul it. The moment I saw her haul it, I was like, ooh, I want to try it. So this is by Snack Club. Um, and these are the tahine peach rings. So um, I really like tahine, the seasoning tahine. And then I like peach rings. So tahine is like a chili lime type seasoning. Um, to me, it's not spicy. It's just kind of like got like a sourness to it, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. If you've never tried tahini, you have to just try it. Um, but I was excited to get these and try them. So I'm going to try them with you guys right now. Okay, well, I opened the whole bag. Ooh, it smells. Okay. So... This is what it looks like. It is like a peach gummy ring and it does have tahini on it. So I'll take a bite. I don't like that. It's not a good, to me, that's not a good mix, so save your dollars don't get these okay for me no first of all they do stink they don't smell good but they don't taste good as soon as it hit my mouth i knew immediately that was not for me um so i don't like those but if you think you might give them a try i did not and you see why billy's so close is because he know he i was eating something so he thinks he's gonna get some you don't want none of that buddy so that is all that I had this time for my Dollar Tree haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. It really does help my channel and it also shows me the content you guys are interested in. Um, also, do not forget to subscribe if you have not already. I would absolutely love it if you became part of my friends and family here on YouTube. I'm also so much closer to 10,000 subscribers where I plan on doing a really big giveaway for you guys. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure that you do because in order to enter that giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed. So um, I'm really excited for that milestone. I am a little ways away, but I'm excited to finally get there. Um, the giveaway is gonna, be, I have so many things I've been putting on hold. I wanna do like a $50 gift card. Like I have a big plans for my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. So thanks so much for watching everyone. You guys know how much I appreciate all your love and support. It means the world to me. And that's all I have for you. That's all I have for you guys this time. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.